Well, the state's highest court giving gay couples more rights today when it comes to child custody and visitation. News 12's Nights Have Reporter Virginia Huey has the details. In a landmark ruling for same-sex couples in New York, the state's highest court ruled that gay parents can seek custody and visitation rights for their non-biological children. Until now, New York only recognized as parents those with an adoptive or biological tie to a child, shutting out those who otherwise may have played a key role in raising the child. Today's decision by the New York Court of Appeals said times have changed and that families formed by same-sex couples need to be protected. In the 6-0 to zero decision, the court said the definition of parent established by this court 25 years ago has become unworkable when applied to increasingly varied familial relationships. Accordingly, today we hold that where a partner shows by clear and convincing evidence that the parties agree to conceive a child and raise a child together, the non-biological, non-adoptive partner has standing to seek visitation and custody under domestic relations law. I think the, judge, the court was probably wrong. Frank Russo of the American Family Association opposes the decision, saying it's not in the best interest of the child. I would give preference to the birth mother, not to, not to uh, her lesbian partner. Why not? She has no right. I, I think gay relationships are harmful to children. Children don't do well with gay mar under gay couples. They need a mother and a father. Today's a, uh, a day of progress. But LGBT CEO David Kilnick applauds the ruling, saying the expansion of parental rights for gay and lesbian parents is long overdue. Today's ruling will protect uh, all LGBT families to make sure that they have the right if, God forbid, their relationship doesn't work out um, and they get separated or divorced, that they will have the right to visitation and custody of their child, which benefits the child as well to make sure that they're going to grow up with the two parents um, that they were growing up with. Now, the ruling will also apply to heterosexual unmarried couples, meaning an ex-partner can seek visitation or custody of a child created through artificial insemination if they can show they and their former partner intended to co-parent that child. Christina.